Okay, are you ready? Let's go, little bear. <laughs> Stay back there. You got to stay back there. Howdy, folks. Thanks for joining me on today's edition of Travel Talk. I am heading into town and i am uh, got Little Bear with me. You probably saw him. He's trying to get up in here in the front, and I'm not going to allow that because uh, he's. He's a pup, he's a new traveler, and I don't need him in my lap and, and all that. So, anyway, I'm heading into town. I'm gonna get him his shots. I am still looking for a home for him. I, I, have, I have been in touch with a woman named Sheila, great woman, Sheila. It was wonderful talking with you. Uh, we think a lot alike, and uh, we hit it off on the phone, I believe, uh, at least it, for me. I enjoyed our conversation. She's thinking about taking Little Bear, but um, we also got to talking that maybe he might be uh, just too much for her. So um, he really should be with a uh, a family who's you know who knows what it's going to be like to take care of a big dog. Now, Sheila, if you still want him, that's perfectly fine with me. We made arrangements. We're going to meet, and you're going to meet him, and all that. But I am still looking for a permanent home for him um, until further notice. So he's going to get his shots today, and I've got some errands to do today. And isn't he just so cute? <gasps> and here he is up in the front. Little Bear, I'm going to have to pull over now. Look it. You cannot be jumping through that window, you little stinker. So I'm going to have to pull over and put him in the back and then close the window. I hate to do that to you, buddy, but I'm going to have to. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. So, uh, I'm heading into town, gonna get some errands done, gotta pick up some uh, prescriptions and, you know, go to the tractor supply, maybe go over, I need to see about getting some straw and um, just normal, normal errands. So, oh, here's a spot I might be able to pull over right here. You're going in the back, mister. Here we go. You little stink butt. You little stinker. Look. Okay. Look it. This is not your seat. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Get in the back. Stay there. Stay there, you little beast. Boy. Yeah, well, these pups, you know, Dottie had five of them, and uh, they're all wonderful dogs, but um, how did my mirror get unadjusted? Okay, that's better. Sorry, folks. That one's good. All right, so um, I can almost see better without my glasses. My eyes are changing. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, Dottie had five pups, all males, and that was strange. I mean, that's, I found that to be uh, quite interesting. Whole litter of male dogs. So we found homes for all of them, except for this little guy. So we're going to uh, place him with um, somebody who can give him a forever home. And, um, yeah, so what else is going on? Oh, okay, yeah, let me fill you in what's happening today uh, is uh, scarlet surgery on her foot and so we've been praying and believing God that the surgeon's hand will be uh, very you know detailed and, and um, bring healing to, to scarlet she uh, I don't know how but I guess there's some kind of foreign object in her foot and uh, it, I asked Melanie I said well, how can that be? If she would have stepped on something, she would have been crying. She would have been asking for help. 
and which Melanie said she kind of remembers that last year, about this time perhaps, uh, that Scarlet had stepped on a stick and it went pretty far deep and they they washed, you know, washed the wound and pulled what, whatever was in there out and perhaps it was uh, a piece that had broken off. So we're going to find out what that is. And uh, So I'm praying for Scarlet and uh, believing that she uh, gets to that surgery just fine and heals up quickly. Uh, Scarlet is so sweet and she's so energetic and she's so, um, oh, I got some line workers here. Okay. And there was no lineman out there to tell us. Boy, howdy. I hope nobody comes flying around that corner. Good grief. Anyway, so, uh, I'm sure by the time I get this video posted. Scarlett will be out of surgery and on the road to recovery. It's going to be a, a quite a lengthy recovery according to the doctor. Uh, three weeks or so uh, out of school. And uh, so at least that's what I think I remember what Melanie had said. So they could, don't quote me on it. It could be different. <laughs> So anyway, my little scar, our little Scarlet, she's such a fireball. She's gonna, uh, she's gonna heal up right quick. I told Melanie, she kids bounce back so fast, and um, it's just the surgery part. They have to put her under, which is kind of nerve wracking, right, for anybody to go under. So, um, and then uh, Kylie is at the college, at, uh, uh, touring the college today, right here in Arkansas. This is the second tour she's gone on. Um, she went to uh, some other college in Russellville, and now she's checking out a college over there in, uh, in Ozark, which is a lot closer, which I think she should do all of her uh, general, uh, general studies right? Uh, her English or math and all that stuff. If she's going to go for a degree, she's going to need to do those. So we might as well do those near home and have the benefit of being home. And so we're going to see how that goes. I don't know what she's going to finally decide on what she wants to do. I know uh, she had said in the past that she had wanted to be a zoologist. Um, she has a friend that is going to school for zoology right now for to be a zoologist. And he he says it's pretty tough, so um, it's not as easy, at, it, you know, I mean, it's college, I tell Kylie, Kylie, I tell her, it's college, it's not high school, so you are going to, um, so you're going to have to put a lot more time in uh, with, with studying and whatnot, but anyway, that's up to her, she'll be 18. She'll be 18, my baby. will be 18 in, in April. And uh, finish high school in May. And we'll go from there. I just, uh, I don't know what she's got planned. But I know God will bless her. Because she's such a good girl. And she's, um, she's just, she's just a, a pleasure. She's just a joy. A joy to raise. She has been uh, such a wonderful little girl. Young young teenager, teenager, she didn't give me no trouble, um, and here we are, and, uh, I feel so blessed to have been able to raise her, and her sister, and her brother, no, I'm not saying anything against them, okay, so don't take it that way, but, um, they were a little bit more difficult to raise, for, for different reasons, uh, but, um, anyway, she's my baby, she's always gonna be my baby, and that's just the way it is. So, uh, she's touring college today, one of the grant, one of the colleges here in, in Arkansas, and um, I've been, uh, we're, we've got some weather coming in, so uh, I've been steadily working in the yard uh, today, no, because, well, I'm going to town and, and whatnot, but um, I'm making progress, and I plan, yes, yes, I do, I plan on doing a walk around, showing you guys a lot of the things, I've got a lot of flowers starting to come up, and some are starting to bloom very little, but but they are. I am getting some blooms, and um, I've just been toodle, toodling around, 
and uh, getting things done slow but steady like Myrtle <laughs> I'm like Myrtle guys slow and steady um, nothing gets done in a day it always takes time and I'm okay with that that means I always have something that I can do right right so we've had let's see the birthday parties for the kids so Abraham and Julia reached new milestones in their age. And what do we got coming up? Uh, Brittany's is next month. She'll be 19. Oh my goodness. She'll be 19 years old. Such a pretty young woman. And uh, such a sweet girl. She's so sweet and so loving. I just love her so much. And then Patrick. Oh my goodness. Patrick will be 21 in April. So we got Brittany's, we got Patrick's, and then we have Kylie's birthdays. And then we're done for a while with birthdays for the little, for the kids. Uh, so yeah, we've got some festivities coming up. And um, I'm just hanging right in there, guys. I know that, uh, I know some of you have made it over to the, uh, his gathering channel. I'll put the link in the description box. If you haven't been over there, I post a uh, short, under 10 minutes, under, you know, 10 minutes long, short devotionals and uh, with a video and a, uh, I make a video to go with it. And I post just about every day. And um, it's for your uplifting. It's for uh, your, uh, it's, it's to help, you know, help uplift you and encourage you. And I, I do the reading and I'm doing it anyway, so I thought, why not? Why not just put it out there? Maybe you could bless other people. And I'm finding that um, I'm getting messages that it is indeed uh, uh, blessing people. And uh, people are reaching out and thanking me and asking for prayer. And if you have a prayer, you will certainly ask me. And our group uh, will... And I got some uh, prayer warriors in this group. And let me tell you, we're seeing some really great things happen in their personal lives and some real good testimonies and so we will uh, we will pray for you if you need prayer if you know someone that needs prayer just make just let us know let me know and um, I'll get you get you up on the prayer, prayer wall <laughs> so and if you are interested in joining our group we'd love to have you just uh, go to uh, his gathering the YouTube channel and you'll see uh, 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 send me an email. Pardon me. Sorry. Send me an email and I'll get you part of the group. I'll, I'll uh, get you to be part of the group and you can join our meetings. We have meetings right now. We have meetings uh, weekly. And we're going to be having one today. Friday. We have meetings on Friday at 4.30 Central Time. So um, we have a new, uh, a new person joining us in today's meeting that she's just joined and the meeting is open to men and women if you would like to have a group of people that are uh, faith-filled and like-minded uh, as yourself as I am okay uh, you're more than welcome to join so anyway enough about that let's see I still have to show you the wall <laughs> that my neighbor built and I promise I will I'll get out there and show you guys everything and do a little video it's just days you know one day goes into the next it just flies by you would think this as uh, someone gets older and they don't have little kids to take care of and all that you might have more time no my time is like going quicker and quicker but that's mathematical you do know that it's a mathematical uh, fact uh, folks why time um, goes faster the older you get. Because think about it, okay? Sorry, we got a lot of bumpy roads on this. So if you think about it, <clears throat> when you're five years old, <clears throat> when you're five years old and you're waiting all year for Christmas, seems like forever. Right? It seems like forever. Because a year is one-fifth of your life at that point. So the older you get, the smaller... Hey, 
hey, hey, hey, hey, hey. Stop. Look. Look, I'm right here. I'm right here. I know. I'm right here. Don't be scared. I'm right here. I'm right here, baby. Oh, you'll be okay. Oh, no, no, no. You'll be okay. No, you stay right there. So, um, I'm going to have to finish this up because he's getting a little nervous back there, a little radical. I'm going to have to get him a bone. I should have, Dad gummit, I should have given him a bone. Just wait. So when you're five years old, one year is one fifth of your life. And when you're 50 years old, one year is one fiftieth of your life. So if you slice that into, into a pie, right, the pieces get smaller and smaller. One fiftieth is smaller than one fifth. And that's why it seems to go faster. Because we're, look, we're looking at it as a whole. We're looking back on our life as a whole. And, um, oh boy, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Don't make me pull over and type. No, 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 little bear. No. I'm going to have to tie you up. I'm going to have to tie you up back there. I hate to do that to you, but I'm going to have to. Yep, I'm going to have to tie you up. See what I go through? See what I go through for these animals? Let me tell you, I didn't pick this animal. It's not like I went out and bought him. Uh. Well, here he is. He's in the front. <laughs> so anyway, boy, what a determined dog. You're a real determined one wearing Hampton's little harness. Don't fit Hampton anymore. Hampton's losing weight. He's not wanting to eat very much, so I'm cooking him. I'm cooking him chicken and things like that now, so I can get him to eat. Cause he won't eat. He won't eat the dog food. Well, he he will, but he, like he skips a day. You know, he's just he's not interested in eating. But he'll eat the chicken and he'll eat uh, ground turkey and things like that. So that's what I'm doing for him. But anyway, um, I don't know where I was. Anyway, folks. Um, as life goes on, the time goes faster, and uh, we have to, we, I don't know about you, but uh, I reflect a lot. I reflect a lot on um, the years gone by, the mistakes I've made, the pain I've caused, uh, the joys I've had, um, the love I've given, and how much love I've received in life. And I feel so lucky. Um, I'm a blessed lady. I'm a blessed woman. And I'm very grateful. And I'm thankful for you. And I, when I think of you, you folks who watch my videos, I always say uh, a prayer of thanksgiving. And um, I ask God to bless you. And I hope that you know that you are loved. That he does love you. And that... Uh, he will make provision for you. Our provisions, we have to look for him every day. We ask for our provisions. Because at any time, at any any way, any day, things can be taken from us. And uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So we look to, we look to God for our provisions. No, you can't come in. <sighs> okay. Here I am back. I got him tied up. He's got his shots. Everything's cool. Except he's tied up and he doesn't like it. Oh, I better get my seatbelt on. I'm just... I'm just not too with it right now, I guess. Okay, anyway.
that is what's been going on around here, folks. That is what's been going on around here. Myrtle will be waking up here pretty soon. In fact, I've seen her starting to stir a little bit. Um, but she usually, they you you know, tortoises don't usually emerge, come out of hibernation until, uh, until March, end of March in the desert. In, in the desert, they'll come out in March because it starts warming up pretty good. So, um, I'm looking forward to seeing her come out of hibernation. And this way I know that, um, she's okay, right? I check on her every night. I know she's still alive because I always go in there and like poke at her <laughs> and she'll move. And then, oh, okay, she's alive. Let her sleep. So, but, uh, as time goes by, folks, we need to continue to, um, we just need to continue to uh, stay in faith. We need to stay in faith as to what uh, God is doing. He's There's some crazy things going on in the world right now. Just absolutely nuts. And um, I feel so bad for those people that live, say, over in Ohio and in that, uh, with that uh, train chemical disaster. <sighs> I got my own thoughts about that, but... Uh, it doesn't matter what I think. The, what matters is there's people that are displaced from their home. In a moment, it was taken from them. And just, you know, in just one day, it was all gone. They can't live there. Uh, the water is bad. The Everything, the ground, the air. I just, I feel so bad for those people. Children, families. How can they afford to move? And who's going to buy their place? I mean... You know, if they own a place, who's going to buy it? Sickening. Makes me so angry. The powers that ought not be, you know, claim that they do everything for our benefit. Yeah, right. They don't do anything for our benefit. The only one that we can look to to take care of us, folks, is God Almighty himself. And he will. He promises that he will. In his word, he says that he will be our provider. And he will be our protector. And that he will fight these battles on our behalf. And I believe that's what's going on. We're, having it. We're in the middle of a spiritual warfare. And um, we're in the middle of it. It's uh, good versus evil, dark versus light. So keep looking up, keep uh, your faith in, in the Word of God, keep your faith in God, don't let anybody steal, don't focus on the enemy, don't focus on the problems, focus on God and what He, can, what he is doing, not only inside you, but in, on the earth right now, uh, with revivals popping up and uh, things like that. God is on the move. He is on the move. Things are happening. We're going to see some really incredible things this year. Stay focused. Stay calm. Stay in faith. And believe and know that you are loved. And um, God will be your provision. So I'm going to sign off now. i got to get my prescriptions and uh, finish up my errands. All right. Take care, you guys. Thanks for popping in. And keep looking and watching for a... a I think maybe my next video will be uh, the grounds. I'll try and get out there and get some filming done. All right. Take care, folks. Thanks for watching and uh, stay strong and keep fighting that good fight of fight, that good fight of faith. And just like I always say, you know what a good fight is, right? Who can tell me what a good fight is? I'll tell you what a good fight is. It's one you win. <laughs> Take care, folks. Bye bye. Mwah. Blessings.